So what's up people, it's King Delta 7 and I just had a great idea for my new VOD reviews, or not my new VOD reviews, but for my VOD reviews. Instead of doing VOD reviews straight from the game, I will pre-record them and then I'll go back at them and look at them so I can rewind and whatnot. That makes things a lot easier, in my opinion. So, first match is against this guy, Son of Hit. He uses Android 17, Hit Goku. Um, and I'm using myself, Bardock, and Vegeta team. I'm not using Cooler yet. I probably should practice Cooler on one, but there are only specific situations where I'm probably going to end up trying to use Cooler for it. So, for his team, my whole goal is to just not let Android 17 pressure me and to mix me up with Ruckus and to zone hit out and stay in the air and then with base goku just beat him up the quality of this is not looking good he jumps straight into vegeta assist I wonder why that dropped. Neutral jumps and he just runs under me. What's up with this quality though? I probably could have got him there. Ooh, he didn't block the cross up. Go for the reset. He vanishes out. This guy definitely didn't know when he was plus and when he wasn't. Ooh, get his 2H. I'm pretty sure he just mashed that 2H out. Bad reflect. Anyone else who's good would have punished me for that reflect. Nice time for the jab. Let's see if he blocks this mix up. I don't remember if he mashed a lot. Uh, nope, he didn't block it. One thing that I need to do is I need to start using Vegeta assist more with Bardock. Oh, that should have been 2 h I thought I could poke out there. Ooh, Lariat. Ooh. That was a nice block to assist call. Level 3. Let's see if he blocks this. Nice block by him. Ooh. That was pretty clean. I need to get my neutral movement better though. There's certain times where I feel like I'm standing still a little bit too much. Or I'm not reacting properly to people moving towards me in certain situations. So I'm taking disadvantage that I don't need to take. Ooh, he didn't black at all. I dropped my combo. Ooh, 
I don't even. I was. Sh I'm trying to do so. Ooh, that was that mix up that's about to happen to him is actually dirty. But for the uh, snapping setups, I'm trying to do it a specific way that Goichi does it. Oh, this is not. This is not it. It's So here, if I want to, what I could do is I could jump up to him, medium, light, light, call in Bardock assist, get a dash in, and get two more lights. So that's four overheads, or that's four aerials that he'd have to block that a lot of people don't see coming. Or, to mix it up, I could jump to him, medium, light, light, Call Bardock assist dash light drop below. So I think we're back. So then it becomes a 50 50 on whether or not you'd have to block a fifth aerial, aerial or a low. But I'm still not super practiced with it. So I just do this mix up. Which is still a really good mix up. But the other one is a little bit more threatening of a 50 50. Nah, that was just cheese. See, now what I wanted to do here was. So I get the back dash vanish, and then I get the reset. Now what I wanted to do here is I wanted to actually hit him with the reverse hitbox of the medium here. But, I mean, it was so fast it didn't even matter, so... He just gets hit by the auto crack like... That was a nice safe jump. See, if I was paying attention, so if I'm paying attention, I right, get in with the Kamehameha, if I don't press light there, and if I'm just paying attention to the fact that he jumps in the air, that's a free 2H. Instead, I'll just get hit by Super Dash because I'm not really looking at what he's doing. And I think I could have whip punished him a couple of times there too. I didn't have to vanish there, I don't think. I could have just called I called Bardock, but I wanted a uh, snap in anyway. And I love doing that because like if you're just moving around someone like that and they're, while they're on a corner while they're trying to get up, it makes them think a lot. So what they're either going to do, from my experience, is they're either going to try to guess whether you're going high or low. And they're likely going to pick low. Or they're going to try to mash and get hit by whatever you throw out. And if it's someone... If it's someone who mashes, you can just do whatever, for the most part, as long as you get your meaties, right? But if it's someone who wants to sit and try to guess, then you can get them with high lows, and you can get them with dragon rushes. That should have been 2H by him. Also, uh, see, I was meaning I wanted to get catch him with the uh, sparking hit. But what I was about to say is a better player will probably see the fact will probably see the fact that I'm air dashing and neutral at them a lot and 2H after they recover down tech 2H. 
So I need to be careful of my approaches. I don't know what he was going for there. A command grab was coming out, which means that I mixed up his input. Oh, he's going for command Maya. Wait, nah, nah. I don't know what he was really going for. That was weird. Whatever. Alright, let's get forward. Now I think this is a different guy. Yeah, this guy uses Vegito, Goku, and Trunks. Now for Vegito, I like to play against Vegito the way I like to play against any pressure character, which is just not let them pressure me. Be aware of Goku assist and Trunks assist. But yeah. Just get Vegito out of there as soon as possible. Just destroy Vegito. And also be careful of Vegito's light. Don't try to clash with it, but instead try to bait the light, backdash, and then with punish. That's how I like to try to deal with Vegito. And then be wary. Like, pay extra attention of when to poke out. So I start aggressive immediately. And then I think here I make a mistake and snap in the wrong person, so I try to re grab Goku. And then I made a mistake and caught in Vegeta, but it didn't even like. I guess I did a good job of not flustering with my mistake and just get Sai right back in. So the thing that the good situation that I'm in here, so there I think what happened here is well I don't need to go back. But what happened here is I tried to perfect attack him and get him with a touch of death. But for some reason, I don't know if I just did it too late, it just didn't come out. But uh I like being in this situation because Vegito with one less assist. And then if I can kill Trunks and his Vegito with no assist, which means what is Vegito gonna do? It's not gonna mix me. So, drop my combo, 2H, because I figured he'd come down with a move, Bardock level 3, let's see if he blocks the mix-up, oh, that's right, this guy, this is, this guy, this guy loves to just use bar in the weirdest ways, I mean, he just used his supers anytime he could. Run behind him. Drop my combo. So now, even better situation. Chunks with no assist. Drop my combo because I did 5H instead of 2H. Didn't matter though. But I'm gonna need to be able to not flub inputs against better people.
Oh, let's get forward. So this is weird, because this whole match started because I was actually watching a stream. So, ooh. and I'm just trying to chase him down, you see, like I said in the beginning. I don't want to clash with light, which I clashed with light, but I want to pressure him as much as possible. I didn't convert off of that, that was a big drop. And this is what I was talking about. This guy just used bar. See, against him, I knew. See, I don't know. This is more just me disrespecting him as a player. But I knew that he was not going to punish any of my tags. I just packed willy nilly against him. Uh, tagged willy nilly against him. Level 3. Well, he blocked the mix-up. He vanished out of the mix-up. There, the only reason I got hit is because I pressed a button while Vegeta Sist was coming out. I should have just waited for Vegeta Sist to come out. I couldn't convert that. I should have 2H'd. Because... I mean, why wouldn't he fall with buttons? There. He's using bar on things that won't kill me. Bad tag. He outmatched me in clash. I don't know how that missed. Ooh, that conversion was nasty. What the heck? For some reason it dropped though. That should have been 2 H'd. I'm pretty sure I tried to 2 H that. I caught out the wrong assist. I don't know what he's doing. He must have been trying to mash. But he just he just let me run up and jab him. Uh, I should have been 2H. Level 3. I actually agree with this. I wonder if I get hit with a mix up after this. Nope, he just tags. I don't know how I'm supposed to reflect versus Vegeta. That's something else I should probably learn. I messed up my combo there. That's not how that was supposed to go. But yeah, that wasn't supposed to be a reset. That was supposed to be another combo. And oh god, why is it so loud for me all of a sudden? What the heck? This got so loud. So let's rewind a little bit so I can see what happened. I think I just did perfect attack. Black string. Bardock and grab. Yeah. That's what I thought. Go for the reset. Dropped the combo for some reason. It didn't let me auto combo.
I can't wait until I deal with better players who can actually block that kill without bar. Then I'll be able to practice the layers that I want to do with that. He outmashes me there. He was not plus. I should have just mashed too. I don't like mashing though. This is he going to commit me? Yep. Big bang attack. I don't understand why he's doing that. I think I was trying to lariat there. Level 3 I could have just switched to Cell of Vegeta there. Level 1, level 1? No, he's just level 1. He doesn't. I don't think he knows about double level 1. Uh, he's dead. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's dead. Like how much damage that backbreaker did. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the VOD reviews. Um, I am feeling some improvement playing against random. Even if they're bad, it's just helping me punish the habits of randoms. Let alone, or... Instead of punishing the habits of someone who I play with consistently. So it's helping me pick up the pace of figuring out new habits of people. So yeah. It's King Delta 7 signing off. Peace.